Hey landheads, got another project going on here. I picked up this 71, basically it was a roller sitting in a friend's boneyard. And I was just going to clean it up and throw an engine on it. I had a spare 12 horse that put some points in it, got it running. And got to looking at it and decided, you know what, I might want to put sprockets in it. And it's a good thing I did because I've discovered that there was no oil in the chain case. This bearing is seized to this cup. I'm gonna have to cut it off of there with the Dremel tool. The drive sprockets were about to shatter. I had seized bolts in the bogey shafts. The track, man, the track is in real nice shape. I don't know that it's the original track, but other than a little bit of weather checking, the lug on it and everything's great. Um, it's had some interesting repairs. I can see someone didn't own a welder, and this is one of those early 71s where the angle iron didn't go further forward, and they all like to crack right here. So it's had some plates riveted there and underneath. I'll probably just take a grinder and clean the paint up and just throw some tack welds around them. I mean, they're doing their job. And yeah, those aren't 71 skis. I let the guy I got it from have them. They were in good enough shape. He can probably sell them to somebody restoring a 71 because frankly, I had a 71 and it had nowhere to grab. So anyway, that's a 72 hood. It's usable, needs some work. I also have a 71 hood. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna bother like wiring lights or anything up on this thing. I think it probably had like a 335 or a bigger Rotax single that had the angled plug. I can see somebody bent this out for that. But anyway, that's my project I've got going on here. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to go too skin flint on the thing, but I'll probably have real minimal dollars in it by the time I get it done. And after all, the less you have in them, the more you can have. All right, folks.